How's it going y'all? I know it's been a while, a year has gone by since I released my first room tour video, but today I'm excited to share the updates I made to this space. So let's not waste any time, welcome to my workspace slash room tour. We'll begin with what everyone likes to see, the desk setup. Previously, I had this gray kitchen countertop as my desk and after a long wait, I was finally able to get my hands on what I originally wanted, which was the Carl B kitchen countertop from Ikea. I just love the wooden mosaic design that it's got. The natural wood creates a separation between the desk and the wall, which before I had gray on gray so there was really no separation, but I find that the contrast that the wood brings is more appealing to the eye. At the center, I have my 34 inch ultrawide monitor. It's got a high refresh rate that's good for gaming, but I love how it has a clean minimal design that doesn't have that gamer aesthetic. And you can't go wrong with the extra real estate that comes from an ultra wide. I have the BenQ screen bar on top for lighting. I saw it on some other setups here on YouTube and thought it'd be perfect for my space. I love how it doesn't take up any real estate from the desk, which helps reduce the clutter and keep it minimal. My peripherals haven't changed much. I'm still rocking the same mouse for the past three years, but for my keyboard, I picked up the F660C from Leopold. It's minimal in design, but doesn't sacrifice functionality, and it still has those dedicated arrow keys. I love the all black stealth look, and it's extremely satisfying to type with. For my speakers, I upgraded to the Audio Engine A2 Plus. I mainly bought them because of how they look. The design is clean and they're the perfect size in my opinion. I'm no audiophile, but I do appreciate how clear these sound. They don't have much bass though, so I have a subwoofer connected underneath my desk. For headphones, I have the Audio Technica M50X. They're a great pair of headphones and I appreciate the flat soundstage whenever I'm editing or listening to music. They're also pretty comfortable. I've had no problem wearing them for hours at a time. If you've been on the fence, I definitely recommend them. For my microphone, I picked up a Shure SM7B. To go along with it, our friend of mine gifted me a boom arm and I installed it on the right side of my desk. Being able to use the mic hands-free is pretty nice, and it makes those voice calls on Discord, or in my case, voiceovers, just that much easier. To the right of my desk, I have an Alex drawer for storage. It's not always organized, but it's nice to keep clutter hidden away. On top of the drawer, I keep my two audio interfaces, which is nice because I didn't want them to take up space on my desk. I have the Scarlett 2i2 that powers my microphone and headphones, as well as an audio dial that controls the subwoofer. And I know it's cringy, but I like to keep my PC tucked underneath the desk. Now onto the one of my favorite additions to my setup, the Sony PVM. I recently got into old retro and vintage tech and was lucky enough to find this PVM for a decent deal. It is sort of overkill to have such a high quality CRT for what I use it for, but I just love the design, so to me, it was worth spending the money on. To the left of the desk, I added this cabinet for I guess what I would call my vintage tech. 
I forget the name, but it's a simple cabinet with a glass door. I also had one of these old VCR DVD combos laying around, so I thought it would be perfect to add to the setup. It's pretty neat to be able to just pop in a VHS tape and go back in time and just chill out for a bit. It won't show on camera, but the display on the CRT is extremely sharp. Back inside the cabinet is where I store my modest collection of records, and I also keep this spare CRT TV that I had before I got the PVM. On top of the cab is my record player, which I have plugged into the speakers on my desk. It's nice to be able to both collect and listen to my favorite albums. On the other side of the room, I replaced my old bookshelf with this nice glass door cabinet from Ikea. I feel the glass doors are a nice touch that bring a bit more sophistication to the room, and inside the cabinet, I like to neatly display everything that I collect. I think of collecting as a physical representation of my interests or appreciation for things, which is why I collect all my favorite games, movies, art books, magazines, you name it. It's pretty nice to be able to close the doors and keep everything dust free. Now beside the shelf, I added this little cherry blossom tree to bring some color and it's nice to add a bit of nature to the room. A bit further down, I still have my production cell framed up above my wall shelf. Nothing's really changed with it. Here I still have the catch-all tray that holds my wallet and keys. Above the bed, I have two of my favorite movie posters framed up on display. Overall, I feel I pulled off this nice balance between personality and a minimal aesthetic which gives the room character without going overboard. I almost forgot, but I do still have the pegboard that I spray painted black last year. Still very useful, helps me stay organized. Now, since my desk and my wood floors are the same color, I had to buy this gray rug to bring more contrast and break up the space a bit more. Last but not least, I wanted to incorporate my piano to go underneath my desk. I didn't want to go the DIY route, so I literally just put the piano stand underneath the desk. I love piano, and I feel it just completes the setup. And that concludes my room tour, guys. Sorry for being away for so long, but buying all these things took a lot of time and money. I think I've curated a space where everything I own brings inspiration or joy, so being at home is never boring or dull. I'm constantly reminded of what I love in life, and that's what helps me stay creative and inspired. Anyway, if you made it this far, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. I'm Batosai and I'll catch you on the next video.